Good morning, friends. Today we have reteaching 573-574. Bonus today, if you are interested in actually working on some homework as well today during school, you're more than welcome to. 575-576 is your homework. I'm going to go through it in the video as well. So if you want to get an early start in your homework, more than welcome to do that today. Taking a look here, it says name first, so we'll start with that. Here it says 10 hundreds make 100. You can count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Now, 700 equals, now it just asks you how many hundreds. Well, seven hundreds, zero tens, zero ones. So it's just asking you what it equals, and then how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones. That's pretty easy. So count here. Write down what it equals, and then figure out how many are hundreds, how many are tens, and how many are ones. We cut and dry. Now at the bottom it says you can use place value to help you write numbers. Well, here's a number, 300, 20, two tens, and then one, two, three, four ones. There are three hundreds, two tens, and four ones. All you're going to do over here is count the hundreds, write it, count the tens, write it. But don't write this as 10, 20, 30, 40. Don't write 40 in here. How many tens it is, and then how many ones. Identify all three, and that's your number you're going to transfer over to the line. Same here. How many hundreds? How many tens? Oh, gosh, I don't see any. And then how many ones? And that's your number. So if you don't have any tens, make sure you indicate that in your number over here. On the back, I'd pause the video and knock those out real quick. It says you can write a number using a standard form, expanded form, and word form. So here is standard. Here is expanded. So you're going to need to know those vocabulary words for the test. Friday, here's your word form. If you don't understand the difference between standard, which is the number, expanded, which is the hundreds plus the tens plus the ones, and the word form, 215, word, word, words, make sure you memorize those. Now it's going to ask you down here to write this standard form, the number, the, hunt, the expanded form, hundreds plus tens plus ones, and then the word form. So go ahead and count it. One, hundreds plus tens plus ones, write the number. Then expand it and say, oh, how many hundreds? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, six hundred. Plus how many tens plus how many ones? So make sure you do the standard and expand it in the word form and do the same over here. Down at the bottom, it says you can show different ways to make numbers. Go ahead and fill this out up here. Pause the video. Knock it out. 200 plus 30 plus 8. So this is just a regular old standard form. 200 is 30 and 8. So what they did here was decompose the 30 and say, oh, well, 30 is really just, you could say, two tens. Take this 10 over here and put another 10 over there and then have 18. So 20 plus 18. Or just 230 plus 8. See how they did 230, combine the hundreds and the tens, and then added eight ones. So this one's a little tricky. So taking a look at it, the first thing is just regular old standard no standard form, expanded notation here. So 153 is your standard form, expanded notation would be how many hundreds, how many tens, how many ones. Go ahead and you try that one on your own. This is when it gets tricky. So here I'm going to write 100. I'm not going to write 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 here. I'm going to write 40 here. I'm not. I'm going to use one of those over here and not add 10 to this. What does that do? It says 10 plus 3 is 13. So it's the same 100 plus 40 plus 10 plus 13 is 153. I just am grabbing a 10 and taking it over to the 1s digit. And then here it's just combining the 100s and the 10s, 150. Three ones. So go ahead and make sure you get that expanded form the traditional way here so you are able to do that. And these are just coming up with ways to combine the hundreds and tens down here in the ones, and then down here is taking a ten over the ones and saying the hundreds plus the tens plus the ones that we transfer, regrouped. Great. Next page, this is your homework. So if you want to stop now and just turn in your Moyo, that's fine. If you want to start your homework, you're more than welcome to. Here, again, name on it. If you're going to do both at school right now, staple it. 
you're going to take one home green. Put your name on it and put it in your root green folder. So, so you can look for patterns with the numbers on a hunter's chart. Well, here are the patterns here. 342, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 352, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 6, 362, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So from left to right, the ones digit goes up by one. From top to bottom, the tens digit goes up by one. So this is just navigating a hundreds chart. You're going left to right, it's plus one. You're going down, it's plus ten. What does that mean? So anytime you're going this way, it's plus one. So 573, 574, 575, 76, 77, 78, 579. Go ahead and fill these in. The tricky one's going to be this one because it's not going to be 590. You would think, oh, 589, and then we hop down here at 590. No, because it's not a traditional hundreds chart. So you're going to go one back from 595, which is 594. And then down here, that's when it gets tricky to hop them back one. Go back one, go back one, it's minus one. So 231, 221, and then fill out the rest of it here. Again, just going left to right, 221, 222, 223, right across. And then down here it says skip counting by fives and tens and 100 on, on a number line. So you're trying to find if it's first, if it's plus or minus. Again, this is that rule patterns we were talking about. So is it getting bigger or smaller? Well, this is clearly from 200 to 300, 300 to 400, it's getting bigger. So it's plus. Well, what's my rule? Well, plus, what's getting bigger? What digits changing? Is that... One's digit changing? No, they're all zeros. Is the tens digit changing? Zero, 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 zero. No. Is the hundreds digit changing? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's getting bigger by one. It's not plus one. It's plus 100. Why? Because that digit is plus 100, not plus ones. Hundreds digit. So over here, you have to look and see what's changing. Well, this doesn't even have a hundreds digit, so it can't be plus 100. It's getting bigger, 95 to 100, so clearly it's plus. Figure out the rule first. The only evidence we have of the rule is two numbers that are next to each other, and we can figure out what's the, what we added or subtracted. Well, clearly we added. 95 plus some number is equal to 100. Well, 95 plus 1 is 96. can't be plus 1. 95 plus 10 is 105. can't be 105. 95 plus, well, you guessed it, plus 5. So go ahead and write plus 5 down there. And now you're just adding 5, 105, 110, and then keep going and fill it in. Got to be at an end of 5 if it's getting bigger or smaller, plus, minus, and what it's changing by. Plus 5, plus 1, plus 10, plus 100. On the back, it says you can use place value to compare numbers. So here I have 325 and 332. So comparing, these are the same. We start with the hundreds. If they're the same, you go to the next digit. Now I go to the two and the tens, and I go to the three and the ones. Well, that clearly is, there's a difference there. You start with the biggest digit. If they're the same, you have to the next digit. The next digit's tens. Well, this has three tens. This has two tens. So clearly, the one with three tens, the alligator has to eat. The alligator's going to eat. Here's my alligator. The bigger number. He's hungry. says it down here. So all you're doing is identifying these numbers, figuring out which one's bigger or equal. Equals are the easiest. If they have the same number here, it's equal. Equal. Same. Remember, the alligator always eats the bigger number, less than, greater than. And then last but not least, go ahead and fill all these in for me, please. And then down here it says, look for a pattern to solve the problem. These are tags in a, sh in a drawer. Describe a pattern, you notice. We, these are all mixed up, friends. They're all mixed up. They're out of order. we got to figure out. Put them in order from least to greatest. That's what I would do down here. So, But it says, describe a pattern, you notice. So right now there's not a pattern. The first thing I'm going to do is reorganize them on the first line. Start with the smallest and move to the biggest and put them in order. I'll give you a hint. 175 is the smallest. And then put them in order and order and order. So you're going to put one here, and you're going to put one here, and you're going to put one here, and then there's a question mark right here. That's the next one in order, and that's going to be this one right here. 
And then describe the pattern. So many of you are leaving these off. Describe the pattern means you have to figure out if it's a plus or minus. Well, this is going to be, since we start with the least, it's going to be getting bigger, which means plus. Then you have to figure out right here how much it's increasing by, how much it's getting bigger by. Plus how much? Plus 1, plus 5, plus 10, plus 25, plus 100, plus 50. Figure it out. What's changing? Get done with those two. You can turn it in, stapled together with your name on them, please. If you want to take this for homework, great. You want to watch this during bus time for homework, great. That's your chapter, topic nine, reteach.